Okay, this is a really quick demo of the Liger Life Club portals. So if you've been given access to a club portal, this is the home page that you'll end up on. So you'll get an email, you'll create a password um, and you'll register and you, you'll end up here. If you're a club super admin or an admin, otherwise a user, uh, club user, you'll end up down in, in this media area. So from, from within here, you can change logos, primary colors, change names. A lot of this will have already been set up from your league though. Um, so you, you shouldn't need to touch any of this. Um, as you can see, your teams are listed here as well as the ad sets, which is what you can uh, upload and, and assign uh, percentages and allocation to yourself now through this club portal. So if I do this, for example, like if I click on an ad set, um, you've obviously got your sort of basic details here. You've got the image ad sets from here. You know, you can upload them, you can edit them, move them around, um, you know, do what you want. You can also pull them in from Canva if you've got a Canva account. Here's the pixel sizes for each of the ad set sizes. So 300 by 300, 510 by 150, et cetera, et cetera. If you open them up in Canva, uh, they'll actually open up in that pixel size as well. Um, so you can add them, you can, you can download them, you can archive them. Um, so obviously if I wanted to add an ad set, I could click this, I would type it in, for example, test, I would save it and then it would allow me to, uh, to upload um, those different, different sizes. Now, why does this matter? Because in your ads allocation at, at the club level, so you, you get given a percentage um, of ad space in a match by your league. They determine that whether or not they're giving the home team 20% or the away team and the home team 20% or whatever, like they decide that, but you generally want to um, take up 100% of the ad space. Now, so for example, always make these percentages add up to 100 across whatever you're doing. This here is the club allocation, meaning that if you've got five teams um, that are all being streamed within your club, then this would be the default that would go across all those five teams. However, um, you can actually, at the team level, you can override that. So you can see here that this is, re if I hit reset to club default, then this would drag from the, that um, allocation I was showing you before at the club. But if you want to customize individually because each of your teams have a different um, sponsor set up and different ad sets, then you can do it at the team level like this and then always make sure that it takes up 100%, right? Um, so for this, for example, I'll just leave it at customized because this is where it was, but yeah, ultimately you can do it at the team level uh, or you can do it at the, uh, at the club level. Now, there's certain things you don't need to touch in here. So for example, um, when you click on a team, it'll show you the competitions that they're playing in from the league. You obviously can't touch these because it gets set up by the actual league and then your, you know, your age group, gender and, and division is also set up by the league. So all of this you shouldn't need to touch. Um, players will get dragged in from the competition external data if there is one. So you shouldn't need to touch this, but it does allow you um, to actually edit player images and you know, names, et cetera, et cetera. But um, speak to your league around what they wanna do with player images if there obviously is uh, player level data for your, for your league. Um, the league can obviously set these up themselves. Um, and obviously, yeah, every league has uh, preferences around you know, the types of player images, if they want player images, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then again, you, you shouldn't need to touch any of this because it's been set up by the league. So, so don't worry about any of that. Um, <clears throat> so you also get analytics. So for the matches that your club is involved in, uh, you will get analytics of, of the ad sets that display, of when they display, what they're connected to, how much of the screen they took up. So you can you can uh, use this to create sponsor reports and filter by ad sets, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want any more information uh, about that, you can reach out to us through this little chat box and we have knowledge base articles and, uh, you know, and everything you, you need to, to understand how all of this works. Now, you also get highlights that are live delivered to you as well as being able to clip them post game, which is what I'll show you now. And you can also do all filtering for um, you know, all the events or anything you want across the competition. So for example, if here, if I went NPL South Australia and then I you know, chose one of the teams and then I went, or a team that's obviously in that competition and say, I went, hey, give me every goal. This will now give me every single goal um, you know, or event depending on you know, whatever sport that you're in, the, the event that, that you want there. Now from here, 
Uh, I can also filter by tags. I can tag any of these as well. I can filter by players if there was player level data connected to them. And then from here, I can do things like, hey, I wanna, I wanna combine these three goals. So I can combine them, open them up into our video editor. You know, in this video editor, I can zoom this down and I can trim it down, All right? So I can, you know, play this, I can trim it down. I can then drag in if I wanted to and add, you know, some, some video sponsor assets, which I'll show you where you upload them. I can drag them in, okay? And then we'll add it. So now this is a two minute 54 video. I could then save this and then when it renders, um, so I can obviously drag other highlights in here as well, but then it renders and it will drop, it will drop back into here. And so you'll see your edited files and then you can actually search for any files you've edited as well and, and they'll, they'll pop up. Now, this is where you upload. So you can upload any of your videos, sponsor inventory into here or whatever you want to be able to attach to those highlights. Um, you can also upload images, although we don't have a way to connect images to those um, edited highlights yet, but, but that is coming. Now you also get every single one of the match records. So all your match records will end up here. So you'll see here in the matches page, all of your fixtures are in here. The live scores will happen. And then they're, as they're happening, I'm gonna show you what, what options you have around the highlights. So here, if I go back to my matches and say I go into a, a match record here, there's a few things I can do. So I can download it. So if I click on this and then I go right click save as, all right, this gives me the option to download the full entire match, which you may want to do to put into analysis software or do whatever. It just downloads it as an MP4. So you can see here, I can play it in the browser. I just try um, to contain it a little bit. So that's there. I can play it here as well. If I wanted to watch, you can see it's two hours and 49 length. So it's the whole sort of stream length. Now, other options I have, I have the review page and the highlights page. So if I click on the highlights, it just takes me back to the tiled page, but it's filtered for this specific match, right? So here's my two pages of highlights specific for the match. And then if I went goal, well, it's just gonna give me um, yeah, the goals in, in that specific match, right? Now, I also can go to the review page. So the review page, um, gives me all of my highlights, but in play-by-play -play order. And these highlights drop in here in real time as the match is going. So you can sit in here, you can watch the stream here, and then you can have your highlights popping up here. So for example, if, you know, say if I was sitting down at the bottom, I could be like, well, you know, give me this shot off target. And then that, that highlight will start playing there for you to review. And then when, re when you review that, so you could watch it, then you could be like, well, now I want to download this as an MP4 straight away. So you can see here that, that that's gonna download. Um, I can click edit and edit it <clears throat> individually. I can also share it. So I can connect up my social accounts. So Twitter, for example, so I'll cancel that because I don't need to download it. Um, I can connect up my Twitter accounts <clears throat> and then publish that out from Liger directly to your Twitter accounts, writing what the post is, tagging, all of that sort of stuff. So now from here, I can also filter, right? So it's like, hey, give me every goal. There's my goals. And then from here, I can tag them. So I could tag them individually here if I wanted to tag them. I can download them individually, I can publish them. And then same thing, I can go like this and I can say, hey, I wanna download them all at once. I wanna tag them all at once. I wanna combine them all at once. So I can do that from here as well. So it's um, it's pretty, pretty powerful. Now, what I can also do <clears throat> if I go back to my matches is I can click on the match and now I can go to the moments editor. So from here, this will open me up into the full match record. And then from within this match record, so I can obviously, I can zoom this timeline down. So I can basically get to where I wanna to get to in the match. So say something happened, you know, whatever it is, you know, you wanna, you wanna drag this out right to a specific moment that happened and, and you wanna grab it post match. So say it's here, 38th minute. You know, so from here, I can basically go, I can essentially go, so I can move this up and down, but I can go, hey, let's let's create a moment here. I don't, I could talk, I always use this, dog runs on field. But, but I could also tag it as well. So I could create a tag that's viral moment and tag it. All right, so then I can hit accept. Now, it, it auto generates a basically 15 second lead and lag, but then I can drag this out. So I can go, hey, like I actually want, you know, 47 second lead, lead and I want 
a 30 second lag. So it would be you know 47 seconds plus 30 seconds creates me this. Now, if I go and I refresh this, like basically this means, hey, take it back to the He's start. Very good at. And then this allows me to watch it from, from the start. Is. So I could watch this, he which is. is obviously going to take 47 Definitely plus 30 seconds trades. to watch. If I'm happy with that, I can then basically go save moment. Right, and then when I hit save moment, it creates me like my one minute, 19 second clip. It's creating it. Now I could do this obviously multiple times in this timeline. So I could go out, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. Um, and then basically from here, so now when I go to, so I can go to match review, or I go to highlights for this match, then it's rendering here, right? And so once that's done and processed, it will look like any one of these, which then I can click on, I can download, I can publish, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so you can go through and clip out all of your moments that you want post game. Um, and then they'll end up here and yeah, you can essentially do what you want with them. So outside of that, you've got history, which tracks all users. Um, you've got your live and upcoming, and then obviously, so you've got your connections. So here's where you can connect up your social media accounts. So, um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter is probably the most common if you want to like publish out goals. But again, check with your your league on what you know rights around doing that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just got you know the capability to do that. Um, then you've also got your permissions, and so this is where if you're a super admin or you're an admin that you can you can invite out other users, and and best to probably give them if you just want them access to highlights, match records, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, then you would give them a, a club user. Whereas club admins can obviously give out access and super admins and they can also, you know, edit um, the things like logos and, and, and uh, ad sets, which you obviously don't want specific people doing. So you just put in first name, last name, email, put in their role, uh, and then it will email them out and then they will also get access to the platform. Um, and you've also, yeah, you've, you've got your tags in, in here as well. Um, but as mentioned, these are showing at the moment the league tags, which they shouldn't. So we'll um, we'll fix that up and then just your tags will, will show in here. Okay, that covers pretty much everything. If you've obviously got any questions, you can hit us up directly through the chat box and, and go into our knowledge base on our website or, or obviously go to your, uh, your, your league and, and they can redirect to us. Thanks.